What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today, let's make music together. So based on the intro, you probably don't know what I'm gonna talk about, but I want to show you guys an application that you can use on the Linux operating system called LMMS. And it's basically a music application similar to Fruity Loops or Fruity Loops. And I remember using Fruity Loops back in the day to make beats and, and all that stuff. I, at one point I, you know, kind of dabbled in the music industry a little bit. It wasn't, you know, to the point where I would be getting a deal or anything, but I did dabble in trying to make music. I think a lot of kids my age or a lot of people my age, when they were younger, they tried to make, you know, music and kind of attempt to get into the music career. And so I've used Fruity Loops in the past to make beats. And I wanted to show you guys another application that's free and open source that you can use to create music. And it's a super cool application. Like I stated, it's LMMS. And let's go down and go to the website so I can show you guys what it's all about. So like I stated, this is the website for LMMS. And the website address is LMMS.io. And as you can see, it says, let's make music. That's why I did that in the intro, just joking around. But it's basically a free cross-platform tool that you can install on all, all the different operating systems, uh, Windows, Mac OS, as well as Linux, that will allow you to create beats. So as you can see right there, it says making beats has never been easier. And based on me playing around with it, it's similar to Fruity Loops. I had Fruity Loops like nine or something like that, or 10, uh, whatever. I don't know what version it's on now, but I remember using Fruity Loops nine or 10 or something like that. And based on me playing around with this application, I saw that it's pretty much the same. Uh, you can produce music, you know, with your computer. It says by creating melodies and beats, synthesizing and mixing sound arranging samples and much more and just to talk about why i looked into this application a while back i did a video reviewing ubuntu studio which is kind of like that studio version of ubuntu and lms lmms was included as one of the applications and i wanted to look into this application a little bit more so i, I was playing around with it for a while and i installed it you know played around and saw that it's a really great application and it kind of remind me of when i was making music back in the day but but it says playback instruments samples and plugins you know with a typing with a typing or midi keyboard is a user-friendly and modern interface so you can hook up midi keyboards i remember i had one a while back uh connected to my laptop when i was trying to make beats and stuff i wasn't really good at it so don't think i was good at it <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be still making music, but it says bundled with ready to use content uh, from assortment of instruments and effect plugins presents and samples to VST and sound font support. And then as you can see, it says made by musicians for musicians. And there you go. You can pick your flavors. So you use Linux. Uh, Windows and Mac OS you can use it on all those platforms so you should be good to go if you're not using Linux but I want to show you guys how to install it on Linux right fast and it's a very simple process it's in the main repositories it's been around for a long time you know what I'm saying so it's not that hard to do I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of what it's all about and then kind of show you the application installed so you can play around with it for yourself and we scroll down a little further, you know, it has some more information. It says core functionality. I'll read that right fast. It says compose music on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, sequence, compose, mix, and automate songs in one simple interface. Uh, note, playback via MIDI or a typing keyboard. Consolidate instrument tracks using beat and baseline editor. Uh, fine tune patterns, notes, chords, melodies using piano roll editor you know full user defined track based automation and computer control automation sources import of uh, midi files and hydrogen project files so that's cool that it has hydrogen support 
I never used hydrogen. I've heard of it, but never used it. But that's good that it has a way to import those types of files as well as MIDI files. And then it says musical instruments. Uh, so you can use musical musical inst instruments and plug them directly into your computer using maybe an interface or something like that. And then down here they have some, you know, mixing. You know, it says drop in last spot plugin support. You know, drop in VST effect plugin support, Linux and Windows. Built in compressor, limiter, delay, reverb, distortion, and bass enhancer. Uh, bundle graphics and parametric e equalizer. Uh, built in visualization and spectrum analyzer. And so that's pretty much all i kind of wanted to show you guys they do have documentation on the website so check that out uh this will help you with getting started uh but you can you know of course use this email i mean this video to kind of get started because i'm gonna go over the, the main interface i'm gonna just review the main interface of it just to show you guys how to work how it work i'm not gonna try to attempt to make any beats because i'm not <laughs> like i said i'm not that good at it um i know how to use it though but they also have a form, you know, you can share and then they have more. You can also, you know, donate to the project if you think it's a, you know, a cool project or you can develop for this project. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, by donating time and working on the actual application to make it better, which is one of the benefits of using free and open source software. You know, you can get, become involved in actually building this type of software. And you, of course, you can put it on your resume once you know your code is accepted you know to the application it could be an effect or or whatever you know something uh, update to the interface you know what i'm saying that you came up with on your own and submit that code on the github and if it gets accepted you know what i'm saying that's part of your resume at that point now let's go on and go over to my virtual machine i already have this up and running uh, I'll show you guys how to install it right fast, but shouldn't take too long. And then we'll go through the interface right fast. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I had a virtual machine up and running and this is Ubuntu 20. And I just wanted to show you guys that it is in a repository. So if we go to the software center, uh, you can install LMMS from here. So let's just wait for it to come up right fast shouldn't take too long but it's in the main repository for ubuntu uh i'm not sure if it's in this main repository for arch linux but let me let me actually check it out so manjaro i think you know and all that it should be covered but let me go check out the arch repository right fast and you guys won't see this but that's what i'm looking up right fast it's just to see if it's in in a repository and it is it's in the main repository it says the linux multimedia studio so it's there uh, LMMS and if we search over here uh, in Zubuntu uh, I'm not sure the package name but let me search right fast so we can see it and you guys know I like to always install stuff from the command line so I'm gonna install it from the command line let me go and open up a term terminal while this thing is searching uh, so let's go zoom in zoom in and let's see if this thing has pulled it up yet and it's still going but first thing you want to do with it with any install of any type of software on ubuntu server or ubuntu uh systems or linux systems is to update the system uh because you don't want to you know mess up the system in any way by installing something and it hasn't been updated or you haven't refreshed the repository so uh first thing i'm gonna run is sudo apps updates and this will refresh the repository that way we have the most up to date you know uh packages or the checks for updates you know what i'm saying all that stuff and as you can see all packages are up to date so we get to go and this is actually taking a while to find it um go down type it in again and just see what happens okay cool so as you can see it's right here so let me just click on the package right fast just show you guys uh, it's in the main repository on Ubuntu 20.04 uh, and any other repository as well. So you can install it directly from here. But what I'm going to do is just install it from the command line uh, just to go down and get it on here. That way I can show you guys what it's all about. So let's run sudo apps install. And I believe it's LMMS. It should be LMMS. 
and I'm gonna tab it out just to make sure and yes that's what it is so let's type that in uh, hit yes or hit enter for yes and then we'll go through the installation process and it may take a little time I'm not sure you may have to you know download a whole bunch of stuff and install a whole bunch of stuff so uh, I'll come back when this thing actually finishes so be back in a second now one thing I wanted to say about this actual application I forgot to explain this before I installed it but there are some minimum requirements or system requirements for the system uh, it has to be at least Windows 7 you know Mac OS 8 X Lion or you know any type of Linux but you need to have CPU of 1.5 gigahertz um, x86 or x86 64 or arm based cpu with two cores now one thing about it though this is one of those applications that the more hardware you throw at it the better it'll perform so disregard the minimum system requirements i recommend you do that you know disregard that but just try to get the max as or as much of the hardware you know assigned to the actual system uh, so this system can run properly or this application can run a whole lot better uh, It's similar to how I edit I use Kaden live and Kaden live the more Hardware that you throw at the actual operating system or from the operating system The better the application will work and the faster that it'll render video So I just wanted to point that that out to you guys while we waiting for the installation to complete Okay, cool. So the installation is done. Let's go down and close out the terminal and we can close this as well. And then let's go down and open up the actual application. And what I want to do is just kind of go through the graphical interface, just kind of show you guys what it's all about. Uh, so let's click LMSS, press yes. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a working directory. That's the first thing. Uh, and they put it under your documents, LMS. And so it'll create th that directory and that's where all your projects will be stored. So let's wait for this application to open up, but they do have some default settings uh, or like a setup wizard that you walk through. Uh, they got the buffer size. I'm gonna leave all this stuff default, but uh, enable tool tips, uh, show restart warning, after changing settings, uh, display volume. So it's just basic settings uh, for the actual application each time you open it up. And then right here, you know, you can check out the location of everything. Uh, you can change those locations. So this is the working directory, like we just set, gigs directory, uh, SF2 two directory, uh, VST plugins directory. So they do have some plugins. Uh, this is the last spot plugin directory so take note of those directories uh that way you can you know uh, add to those directories if you need to uh they have a themes directory uh so you can play around with that as well if you need to uh here is the performance settings so they have auto save uh you can enable and disable auto save uh ui effects and performance so it says show playback cursor so you could change some of this stuff in case you don't have a lot of hardware on your system you know what i'm saying so the effects you know won't be as smooth if you turn some of this stuff on off but if you turn it on you know what i'm saying is it'll use somewhat some of your processing power for that purpose uh and then here is the audio settings so you can set up the audio you know interface if you need to as well as your MIDI settings. So you can go in and add, if you got a MIDI or some type of keyboard or something, uh, you can connect it via here. And so let's press okay. I'm gonna just use, like I said, I'm gonna use all the default settings. I'm not gonna change anything, anything. but one thing it says is, please note that most changes won't take effect until you restore LMS, which I didn't make any changes, but that's pretty much it. So now we're at the interface. And just to kind of walk through it, it's basically broken up into a bunch of different sections. And I'll, I'll walk through most of it just to kind of show you guys a little bit about the actual application because I'm not that familiar with making music anymore. So it's kind of hard for me to, I don't know, show you the application working, but I could just kind of point you and break down the UI for you guys. 
so up here you know you basically got your menu bar which is file uh you know file you can you know create new create a new template you know open a, a project or save you can save in different formats you can export you know export midi you know all all that information is in there and then edits uh you can undo redo and then they have some settings under here uh and then view you can change up the way the view looks you can turn on certain things you know what i'm saying to show and not show uh, and as you can see, it has shortcuts to certain things. So if you want to open up the song editor, F5, uh, beat and bass line editor, F6, you know, and so on. And then you got your volume as DBFS, uh, smooth scroll. You know, that's one of those settings that was in the setup at the beginning, uh, smooth scroll. So that's just to make things, you know, run a little smoother, but it uses more processing power. Um, now tools, yeah, your plugin browser. So else, I mean, lad spa plugin browser, you know what I'm saying? Then you got your help and that'll bring up most likely the website and let's go to the about me so i can show you what version of lmss we're using so it says version 1.2.1 so let's go down and close that but that's pretty much it for the menu bar now the next little section is the toolbar and so basically it's all your tools uh and you can quickly instead of going into the main menu uh, you can quickly do some of the tasks that you would up there. So you got your create new project, uh, create new project from template, you know, open existing project, you know, recently open projects, you know, your basic toolbar settings. But down here, you know, you got your show high song editor, uh, the beat and baseline stuff, uh, editor, the mixer, you know, all that good stuff can be controlled from here by just clicking on it and i don't know if you guys remember but or i don't i don't know if you guys ever used fruity loops but this is pretty much the same way it's set up uh as far as fruity, fruity loops go but this like i said everything here is the toolbar you got your timing your tempo you know beats per minute you know and some other information and then you got your volume you got your master pitch, uh, master. Well, yeah, that's the master volume and then click to enable the CPU. So they'll give you that'll give you some information about the CPU uh, uses based on what I'm looking at. No, that's the master output. That's the output uh, volume. So that'll if you click on it, you know, it'll go up and down based on, you know, why you plan an actual track that you're creating. And then this is probably your CPU uses, and I'm pretty sure it goes from green to red. So, you know, you got your yellow in the middle, but if you're peeking, that lets you know that your, your CPU is like working super, super hard to try to keep up or is having a tough time keeping up. You know what I'm saying? So that's something you want to monitor while creating music and adding all your different beats and stuff like that it can work your cpu real hard that's why i say it's best to have a kind of a high-end computer when it comes to the cpu and memory and all that good stuff so this application can run properly okay so the next port i want to cover is the sideboard so over here you know you have uh certain things in the sideboard so you have your instrument plugins so you can go through and check out all of your plugins under the instrument section and then if you click right here this will bring up your project so they do have some demos in here i don't know if you guys remember or if you guys ever use fruity loops they do have demos in there as well so super cool you can also go to you know this tutorial port so they have uh some tutorials for you and no templates but that'll be the templates that you actually create you can uh, start once you start learning the application you can create your templates that way you can start using a template so you don't have to build everything or set everything up from scratch and then the next thing is samples so they do have samples so this is how you add all your drum loops you know bass loops uh beats drums uh gig effects you know latin instruments you know all that good stuff is under there uh and i've seen that in fruity loops as well so that's added to the application so you can add those files to your project and put them in and loop them through if you need to and then the next thing they have some presets 
so you can go through here i'm i'm not sure about the presets so don't don't get me to lying to you but you know they do have presets in here and then home so this is basically your directory your home directory so it has everything you can navigate through here and just pull in music files if you need to you know all that good stuff and then also they have you know the root directory you can go to that as well so you can look at your root directory of the system uh, and that's just only if you need to find files uh, that's the way I look at it and that's pretty much it all you have to do is click on it and that'll collapse it so it'll stay collapsed until you actually click on it and need it which is super cool because um, you don't need it taking up a whole bunch of space you know what I'm saying so you're good to go now the next portion is just all the different windows that you got open up so you got your song editor you know and some of this stuff can be turned on and turned off uh, so you don't see it on the screen uh, that way you can clear up the screen for whatever you're working on but you got your song editor and I kind of went through some of this stuff already but one of the things I used to use a lot in Fruity Loops was the uh, piano roll uh, and this will allow me to create you know different notes or find the notes that I want and create those patterns that I need as far as uh, the music that I was trying to create but yeah, you can turn all of these little windows on and off. Uh, this is the controller rack, which I don't really mess with. I haven't really messed with this thing, but you know, that's, they got controllers, you know, you can add to the actual music that you're trying to make. And then this is the mixer down here and you can add effects and a whole bunch of stuff in here, man. Uh, but that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys i just wanted to cover the full interface so you guys can see that this application you know is top notch it has all the features that you would need in order to create music so and you can use it right on a linux operating system so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions about this application or anything dealing with linux then feel free to hit me up i don't mind helping people you know, I'm always trying to push Linux because of the open source, the freedom and the open source model that it has. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Linux is a great operating system. It has, you know, pretty much anything you can do on Windows, Mac OS, you can do on the Linux operating system. So that's another reason I try to push it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techy.